So earlier it stopped raining. Good morning! So this is our first day here in Japan. So we woke up around just at 8 o'clock in the morning and it's now quarter to 9 and we're gonna go out and explore the area around Kyoto. We're gonna we're gonna try to go to the temples and other places. So we haven't had any breakfast yet. So we we'll catch na lang kami ng breakfast outside. We're gonna find out sa kami mas makakamura. There's actually a buffet downstairs, but it's 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 not that expensive, but it's not that cheap either. So siguro mag buffet na lang kami on our last day. So for the meantime, we're just gonna explore and eat something that we can afford. So see ya. But we bought na kami ng sim, and the sim cost three thousand eight hundred yen, which is like. 1,800 pesos. Ayan. So, the good thing with their sim is that it's with a lot Which kind, one are you going to choose? It's kind of expensive. Nah, no, no? That one? Yeah, they're all the same. Okay. Yan ba? Or the other side? Oh, sorry. So you got your sim? You got your sim. Take your goods. Open it. What's this? The coins, mo. Okay. Okay, na. And this is two hundred yen. We've just finished buying a sim card, and now we're looking for something to eat for breakfast because we haven't had our breakfast yet and we're still here at Kyoto train station and we're in this place which I think it's more like a supermarket they have a lot of options foods to choose from and to be honest it's so insane they got plenty of foods and we can't decide which one to eat so I don't know what's gonna happen and yeah we'll see what where we're gonna end up for breakfast <sighs> Medyo mahal yung mga food hub. Gusto mo kong bini ulit? Reka, kong bini na lang. Let's go to Delhi Cafe. Push to open. So, where's the hot chocolate? 1,179. Our first breakfast in Japan. So we're now in a half and half of bus going around Kyoto. So we're gonna go around the different tourist spots here in Kyoto. And this is the bus and you can see the view. You can see the view around. So we're so excited. Look at this. I think that one of the reasons why Japanese people can finish their any forms of construction really quickly is because as you can see in this video, they're all working. No one is just standing or staring or just giving instruction. Everyone is doing their job. So I think that's the reason why they can finish their job really quick. Ayan na, nandiyan ay ibon. 
Tunog ibon yung ano nila, no? Yung pedestrian. <laughs> Tunog ibon yung pedestrian. <laughs> o naman. Ano nang nang temple na to ha? Himalay. Ano nang 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 nabasa? Ha? Where? Hindi ko mabasa Japanese. Anong temple ba to? Hindi ko alam. To the viewers, it's up to you to guess or tell me what's the name of this temple. I don't know. But we're here. Wait. Dito tayo. The Temizuya at the entrance to the shrine's innermost grounds is a place to purify the body before entering. Here, worshippers wash their hands and mouth with a cool, flowing water in an act of ritual purification. When praying at a shrine in Japan, first throw a coin, usually 100 or 50 yen, in the offering bags. Then, ring the bell or gong firmly for a few times, as this helps get the attention of the spirits inside. Then, bow twice, deeply at 90 degrees. After bowing, clap your hands twice. Should you want to pray, you need to do so after clapping and do it quietly. The prayer do not require spoken words. After you are done, bow one more time, just as deeply as before. <laughs> Let's go. So this is the Ketanu Temango Shrine. I think. I'm not sure. Is that a bull? 